Thanks for the introduction. And first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for their kind invitation. This is my first visit to Singapore. Yeah, my talk is based on uh, my joint work with Florian Ivora in Rennes University. And this, uh, as the title explains, this uh, is our attempt to generalize the new theory of mixed whole structures by putting modulus, the notion of modulus. And this, uh, so MHS will denotes the category of mixed hot structures introduced by Doreen, and we are trying to uh, make a bigger category, uh, which we call mixed hot structures with modulus and denoted by MHSM. And they are pretty <coughs> rather big categories, but uh, fortunately this uh, contains a smaller, very small subcategory, which is indicated by one, and this is called level one part, and so this MHS1 is a level one part of the mixed hot structures and similarly for this MHS M1. And they are much very small subcategories of MHS and MHS M. And the uh, good thing for them is that they admit geometric description, very explicit disc geometric description. MHS, in the case of mixed hot structures, it is equivalent to category of Dorini one motifs. And the, for, with modulus version, this is Romo one motifs. And because these uh, one motifs are just uh, generalization of semi abelian varieties and commutative algebraic groups, very basic algebraic geometry object, uh, they, uh, one motifs are uh, introduced in such a way that the, the category of semi abelian or commutative algebraic groups uh, sta becomes stable under duality. So this basically such one motifs, I will explain later that they, they can be understood by uh, algebraic groups and uh, duality. So so it is very easy to understand. And this will explain the motivation for our talk, so I decided to spend more than half of, maybe 30 minutes of my talk will be devoted to explaining this picture. However, this part was actually uh, already basically known. This is a theory of such equivalence was already uh, established by Babilio Biare and Cato Russell. So th th this part is actually not new, but uh, even though I decided to spend uh, 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 30 minutes for this, uh, for explaining motivation for this uh, work. And in the only remaining 15 minutes, I will explain the full, whole entire category of mixed hot structures with modulus. And then we explain its uh, application to urbanized varieties with modulus. Okay, so I will start with this part. This, this is very basic uh, algebraic, uh, algebraic, computative algebraic groups. So this is a very basic uh, fact from algebraic geometry. Uh, recall that the, any commutative algebraic group over C, uh, let's say it's G, it is an extension, always it, it is an extension of an abelian variety denoted by G up by a uh, product of multiple group and uh, a tip group. This is a, a, a product of GM and pro, pro, GS. And we call uh, this is semi abelian if uh, there is no additive part, additive part vanish. So this, yes. Oh, yes, uh, yes. The, actually, uh, we have, I have to write uh, this is, uh, co we only consider com connected commutative algebraic group here. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the, uh, yeah, uh, I in define semi abelian varieties. We, we, we call this is a semi abelian variety if uh, additive part vanishes. So uh, this way we get the uh, three step hierarchy in the category of algebraic groups. AG is a category of all, all algebraic groups, and uh, AV will be uh, all uh, abelian varieties, so proper computational algebraic groups. And uh, <coughs> inside here uh, we have a semi category of semi abelian varieties. So this is a three-step hierarchy among, in, among computational algebraic groups, and this will be a similar structure will be seen in the, this talk repeatedly. In the last part, uh, the goal of my talk is uh, uh, Hodge theory, and in, this, in terms of Hodge theory, this Abelian group, uh, Abelian varieties will be, uh, this correspond to pure Hodge structures, and semi-Abelian varieties, this middle part will be mixed Hodge structures, and this AG, all commutative algebraic groups will correspond to uh, mixed hot structures with modulus, our category. Yes, but uh, this is uh, the first, most uh, basic 
and the most important example of such commutative algebraic groups can be seen in the theory of algebraic curves. So let us take a compact, this, this, this is again connected, connected compact Riemann surface or algebraic group, uh, algebraic curve over C. And we, if we take an effective divisor Y, then attached to such a pair of X and Y, we can, uh, we can attach a commutative algebraic group denoted by Jack of X and Y. There are many several ways of class, <coughs> um, class, uh, uh, characterizing this uh, algebraic group. One way of this is just uh, this classifies a pair of isomorphic class of pairs of a line bundle of degree zero and a trivialization along Y. This is one way. So if we, uh, if Y is empty, if the divisor is a zero divisor, then we do not need this uh, trivialization, and therefore this is uh, just uh, classifies uh, degree zero line bundles. So this is a classical Jacobian variety. And in this case, this is an Abelian variety. There's no uh, linear, linear part. <coughs> but if uh, Y is not empty, but reduced in the sense that uh, the multiplicities in appearing in this divisor these uh, multiplicities are all one. In this case, uh, the Jacobian variety is semi-Abelian, semi uh, semi so it sits in the middle part. Uh, the unipotent part, additive part is trivial. But if Y has a multiplicity, then in general, this will, be, this will have non-trivial additive part, and therefore only computative algebraic group. This is the theory of generalized Jacobian. Yes, this is a classical result, and we, next I would like to consider its duality. Duality is uh, uh, easy for Abelian variety. Uh, for Abelian varieties, we have notion of dual Abelian varieties. So dual of Abelian, um, Abelian varieties, again, uh, an Abelian variety denoted by a check. And uh, in case of Jacobian varieties, it, its dual is isomorphic to itself. So it's, Jacobian varieties are self-dual. This is very classical uh, 19th century <coughs> mathematics, I think. But uh, if we want to uh, generalize this uh, notion of duality from Abelian varieties to commutative algebraic groups, we need the notion of one motifs. This is how we introduce, uh, we need one motifs. And I would like to explain it in a picture, this picture. This is uh, the AV is the category of Abelian varieties, and this is small. Red circle or oval is a category of semi abelian varieties. This which consists of uh, abelian varieties and GMs. And this uh, bigger, bigger red circle is uh, any commutative algebraic group. This is an extension of uh, semi abelian varieties by copies of GA. And I, I say that the abelian varieties admit duality. Dual of abelian varieties is abelian variety. But dual of GM is not uh, commutative, algebraic, uh, commutative algebraic group anymore. Dual of GM is, uh, here I mean the character group, is a free abelian group of rank one. So the dual of GM is G. So this is no longer a connected algebraic group. And <coughs> so this is not even fi of finite type over C, spec C. But uh, anyway, there, there's a way of uh, uh, implement, uh, cook up, uh, combine three mathematical data Abelian varieties and the copies of G and GM in, uh, in a very nice, nice way. And this uh, will be called Dreen one motifs. So this small blue triangle denotes the category Dreen one motifs and denoted by M1D. D is for Dreen. And similarly, the dual of GA is formal, formal completion of GA. So this, this is, uh, again, no longer a computer large group, but something else. And the dual, uh, I will explain Immediately, I will explain that there's a way to combine such data, uh, compare up these data to make up some mathematical object called Romo 1 motive. So this big, big blue triangle is the category of Romo 1 motives. And the duality acts like a mirror put on this uh, dotted line. Abelian variety, dual of Abelian varieties will be again, by, again an Abelian variety, but it switches Z and GM, Z hat and GM. But this is a basic idea how 
uh, this will be, but it, mathematically, how to implement this idea is another thing, and this is explained in this, uh, these lines. So, uh, mathematically, the definition of Romo one motif is given here. It is uh, Romo one motif is just a two term complex of uh, this form. Just a, we have just two terms, and this is considered as a complex of flat sheaves on the big, big flat side. But uh, it is not very. Yeah, anyway, this is a two term complex. The first, first degree is uh, copies of G and copies of G A, uh, G A hat. This is a new, new part. And uh, on the second term, we have a arbitrary commutative logic group. So if we ignore this first degree, first, first degree part, we, we have, it is just the same as saying commutative logic group. So G, AG is uh, considered as a subcategory of Romo 1 motifs by regarding this as a two term complex with zero as a first component, first term. The another thing is that uh, we call this uh, dream one motif if we, have, we don't have this. This uh, G A hat is trivial, and this G is, uh, has no additive part, semi abelian So this way we, get, we define the dream one motif and the Romo one motif. And this is the way how to implement this picture. We have it. Yes. G hat is, yes, mm. uh, this is just, a, uh, we, we use this formula. We compute, uh, we define dual of, to be a form, uh, uh, to, uh, in the category of uh, flat sheaves. And then, uh, uh, to, what? Uh, if you, t you put G, G A here, it will be G A hat. Uh, no, no, yeah. if, if you evaluate it at uh, reduced, li reduced links, then the, it will be zero. But uh, if you, ev uh, this is a, uh, uh, this home is taken, this, this home is taken in the category of big shifts. And so if you evaluate it at uh, near potent, near potent elements. Uh, mm. Yes. Uh, Yes, so this, uh, if you, uh, mm, so, ah, yes, mm, this, this works like this. Uh, okay. Yeah. Then now I, uh, I would like to explain this, uh, how the picture of generalized Jacobian comes into this picture. In order to, uh, we can generalize the uh, construction of generalized Jacobian, uh, Jacob X and Y, to uh, generalize uh, Jacobian one motif in the following way. We, this time we take a triple over Riemann surface X and two divisors Y and Z instead of just a pair of X and Y. We use, we consider a, uh, curve X and two, two divisors Y and Z, and, but we assume they, they have disjoint support. Attached to such a triple, we, we can, uh, to such a triple, we attach a Roman one motif, Jack X, Y, and Z in such a way that uh, these two formulas hold. So if uh, we take zero as the second divisor Z, then this is just a computational group. So uh, in, in this sense, so there's no, nothing in the, in the uh, first term. So, but uh, if, uh, ah, the second thing is that the dual of Jacobian, uh, Jacobian one motif of X, Y, Z, is uh, isomorphic to x, z, and y. So z, x, y and z are interchanged. So if, you both, if you both of y and z are trivial, then this recovers the classical auto-duality of Jacobian. But in, in general, uh, this, uh, the duality acts in this way. It interchanges, uh, switches to, to devices. Yes, this is a picture in the case of curves and uh, Next, I would like to explain this in the viewpoint of the Hodge theory. Yeah, first I, uh, this Hodge theory uh, will be, uh, this will be done in three steps. The first we consider uh, abelian varieties and pure Hodge structures. In the next slide, I will explain semi abelian uh, Durini one motifs and mixed Hodge structure. And then uh, arbitrary Lomo one motif and 
mixed hosed structures with modulus. This is the first step, and uh, this is again basically everything known in 19th century in a different formulation. So I'll be briefing on this slide. This is a relation between abelian varieties and uh, host structures of level one. So the, uh, the, the basic fact is the equivalence between these two categories, categories of abelian varieties with uh, host structures of level one. And this, uh, the definition of host structures of level one will be recorded here. Uh, it is just uh, an object of this uh, category is just a pair of a free, free Z module of finite rank. And this, uh, together with uh, this uh, extra information, host filtration F0. Th but this, in this case, host filtration is just, uh, just one C linear subspace of HC. HC is a base change of HZ to C, su subject to some conditions. But the most imp important uh, condition is this uh, host decomposition. And also, we assume this is uh, polarizable. So this is uh, kind of some uh, condition of some existence of some kind of Hampshire form. But, uh, I, don't know. I, I, I omit the details. But this way we can uh, cook up this uh, linear uh, category. We can define this category in, uh, purely in terms of linear algebra. And we have the following things. The uh, first thing is relation with geometry. If we consider Riemann, compact Riemann surface X, uh, this uh, under the equivalence here, Jacobian variety corresponds to the first homology group. This uh, first homology group uh, equip, uh, carries uh, mixed hodge, uh, hodge structure, pure hodge structure by, uh, by uh, basic hodge theory. And then second one is that uh, the duality on the abelian varieties can, uh, is uh, transformed to this, uh, in, hodge, in the category of hodge structures, this, is, uh, this becomes a very easy, simple linear algebra operation. So on the Z model part, it is just a Z linear dual and the whole filtration is just uh, taking annihilator. And therefore, by when we, uh, we combine these two, uh, we can see this uh, cell auto duality of Jacobian varieties by, uh, this, this can be explained by Poincare duality on homology groups. And um, yes, this is the case of abelian varieties. And next I, uh, explains the similar story for Drini one motifs. Yes, but the story is, goes uh, very similarly as before. So now this, uh, this, is, uh, this is explained in Drini's Hodge 3, in the last chapter of uh, Drini's Hodge 3. The, he constructed the category of, uh, uh, yeah, this is where the category of Drini one motifs is introduced as. <coughs> anyway, th there is an equivalence of, of uh, categories of the linear motifs with uh, category of mixed hodge structures of level one, which is uh, defined as follows. Uh, this is uh, the object of this category is uh, four plus of the, the first two entries uh, the same as before. The, the first, first one is uh, a, just a free abelian group of finite rank, and the F0 is a C linear subspace. Uh, but this time it is uh, mixed, so we need uh, more, uh, weight filtration, W. But this uh, weight filtration is, in this case, uh, just a three-step filtration. So we only need W minus one and minus two. And then uh, the conditions we impose on these data is that the most important thing is that this middle graded quotient, weight minus one part, should be belong to Hodge, uh, Hodge structures Pure Hodge structures of level one. And the others, uh, uh, the weight zero part is just a free abelian group of fine trunk, and the weight uh, minus two part is direct sum of tet twists. And in this uh, equivalence, uh, remember the, the picture, uh, remember that the dream one motif consists of abelian varieties and the free abelian group and GMs. This middle part is uh, encodes the information from abelian varieties. And this is the free abelian group part, and this is the GM part. Then, uh, in, with this definition, uh, we have this equivalence, and then uh, we, we can again interpret this uh, Jacobian one motifs in case of uh, two divisors are reduced. If we have a uh, uh, 
Riemann surface X with two reduced divisor, we can interpret this Jacobian variety, Jacobian one motif, which is a Drini one motif in this case. This corresponds to the relative homology group of the complement of Y in X relative to Z. This relative homology again carries a mixed hold structure by, by Drini construction. Yes, and the second thing is that uh, uh, the duality on during one motifs becomes uh, again a very simple linear algebra operation on mixed hold structures. And therefore, uh, by combining these two, Poincare duality for uh, Poincare duality for relative homology group, so Poincare Alexander duality explains the duality of the Jacobian one motifs in case of reduced divisors. But now uh, I explain this is how this is ex extended to Roman one motifs. Now we have an additive part. But uh, as I mentioned in the first slide, I, there are, uh, this was already known by uh, other many researchers. So uh, by now, there are at least three known hold theoretic categories that is equivalent to Roman one motifs. Roman one motifs is uh, Yes, first, this Hodge theoretic description of the Roman one motifs is given by Barbaria Viare, and this is a category of formal Hodge structures. The second one is uh, due to Cato and Russell, and this is uh, mixed Hodge structures with additive part. And we, uh, we introduced mixed Hodge structures with modulus uh, with uh, Florian Evora. And of course, uh, all of them are equivalent. They are all equivalent to category of Roman one motifs. So this is, they are all basically essentially the same thing, but uh, in practice, each construction have its own advantage. But today I will, of course, explain our, our own construction. And now this is a definition of uh, mixed host structures with modulus of level, level one. Uh, in a rough form. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> now, uh, okay, uh, an object of uh, this uh, mixed hold structures of level one consists of uh, four entries. The first one is uh, mixed hold structures without modulus. So this is uh, Dreen's mixed hold structures of level one. And the extra data we put is a pair of C linear spaces, U and V, finite finite dimensional C vector spaces and uh, extra uh, curry F. This is a kind of a enhanced Hodge filtration. And this is uh, just a C linear subspace in, sitting inside direct sum of HC and U and V. And uh, I will explain the, uh, uh, we, we need to impose some conditions they should satisfy, uh, but at this point I will not explain. Uh, this will be explained in when I explain the mixed hold structures with modulus without level, arbitrary level. But uh, the, these uh, conditions are rather technical. And anyway, the data are here. And in, the, in this correspondence, Roman one motifs with our data, the correspondence is given in the following way. This uh, GA hat, uh, okay, first, let, let me take one Roman one motif of this form. And uh, I will briefly describe how this corresponds to uh, mixed hold structures with modulus. Uh, from this, uh, we, uh, we can make a dream one motif by getting rid of, get rid of formal group part and uh, unipotent part by simply by taking quotient uh, sub, sub object. And this is uh, therefore a dream one motif and this corresponds to a hold mixed hold structure. And this is first entry. And U and V are uh, uh, the, of the data we discarded in this process. So G U is uh, essentially additive part of G, this part, and V is uh, this uh, formal group part. The, the last data, F, curry F, is, uh, this is uh, responsible for the map connecting here and also uh, extension class of G out by this uh, quotient. Yeah, but in, anyway, this, this way we, we can uh, prove the equivalence of Roman one motif with our category. So we, this admits, this in, 
This way, row more motifs can be uh, interpreted in a purely in, in terms of linear algebra. Okay, then now I <coughs> I can explain the uh, relation with uh, geometry or Jacobian one motifs. So uh, let us consider a uh, uh, algebraic curve X and smooth proper curve X and uh, two effective divisors Y and Z. And now uh, Y and Z need not to be reduced. They, they may have multiplicity, higher multiplicity. Then uh, we have a Jacobian one motif, which is a row one motif now, with uh, possibly with uh, non-trivial attitude part. This corresponds to mixed hot structures with modulus. Uh, this, uh, and this, the corresponding object can be described in this way, in, uh, very explicitly in this uh, formulas. Uh, I will not explain the, each item in very detail, but I, I just say that these are very standard way of, uh, we only use very standard uh, operation in, the, in this kind of story. Probably the new construction appears only in the construction of F, but at least in this curve case, it is very easy to show this satisfies the, all the necessary properties. At this point, I only remark that uh, the special case that if both Y and Z are reduced, in this case, uh, the def let me have a look at this, uh, the definition of U and V. This is uh, U and V, uh, U is defined by looking at the difference of y and its reduced part. So if y is already reduced, then this group is by definition trivial. And uh, if z is reduced, again, v is zero. So if uh, both u, y and z are reduced, in this case we have uh, both u and v are trivial, which means uh, the Jacobian motive is during uh, one motive. So this way we recover during theory. Okay, then the uh, last remark in this uh, one-dimensional case is that, uh, again, duality on the Romo one motifs can be interpreted in, uh, by uh, easy linear algebra operation in our category. So uh, the general auto duality, uh, or duality result for one Jacobian one motifs can be, can be explained by Poincaré duality for this uh, relative homology groups. Together with, uh, this time we use also a coherent homology for curves, so we, we also need cell duality. But in combination of these two duality theorems imply this uh, aforementioned uh, duality for Romo one mot uh, Jacobian one motifs. So this is the end of the explanation for the case of curves and the level one case. So now I move to the uh, higher dimensional case. and. Uh, mixed code structures with, with and without modulus for uh, arbitrary level. Yeah, so uh, I'll start with uh, the recording the during the theory of mixed code structures. So now I, yeah, I, I'll br very briefly record uh, from our point of view uh, what we, can, we, we will need in from the during the theory of mixed code structures. Anyway, MHS will denote the category of mixed hoist structures. So, uh, we, we will need these four basic facts. The first thing is that this very formal thing, this is uh, the category of MHS is Abelian, and this contains uh, the level one part we, which we discussed in the first part. And in this talk, I will use uh, uh, this geometry. Uh, yeah, this is very important from uh, our point of view. Uh, there's a geometric way of constructing mixed hood structures in the, as follows. We start with a smooth proper variety, X, and we take two divisors, Y and Z, and we assume the, they are reduced. And we also assume they have disjoint support. Then we have a chemical way of constructing mixed hood structures whose underlying Z module is a relative, homology, a relative cohomology group of the complement of Z relative to Y. Uh, previously, I used the complement of Y relative to Z, but uh, 
because we are now, before we, I use homology, but now we switch to cohomology, so I change the order. This, this will be, yes, anyway, this is the underlying Z module, and there's a chemical way of constructing mixed host structures on, on this group. Yes, the, the, so uh, attached to a triple of X, Y, and Z, we, we have, for each integer N, we have a mixed host structure. And for this uh, mixed host structure, we have duality, Poincaré type duality. So D is a dimension of X here. And uh, uh, yes, if we look at the degree N cohomology group of the triple, it is dual to degree 2D minus 1N with the T2 SD. And this, uh, Okay, the, this duality on the mixed host structures is uh, on the G model uh, Abelian group level, this is uh, defined by just G linear dual. So th this automatically dual of uh, any mixed host structure will be automatically torsion free. So we need to divide by torsion part. So, but the torsion part will appear in the X to one, but this is the uh, most interesting part. This, this is a duality for mixed host structures. And then now I look at the case of degree n is 2d minus 1. Then uh, this uh, object, this gadget will be uh, on, uh, this belongs to the smaller subcategory, mixed host structures level 1 with 1. And therefore this uh, corresponds to some uh, linear one motif, uh, which we call Albanese one motif, R x, y, and z. And this is uh, a gen higher dimensional generalization of the uh, Jacobian one motive. In case of D equal one, this is, agrees with Jacobian one motive. Yeah, this is the story I would like to extend to uh, a version with modulus. Uh, by modulus, I mean uh, divisors with multiplicity. So this will be done in the next section, but before that, I think I have to, I need to remark that uh, Dreen constructed something more, something more strong. Dreen constructed for arbitrary variety or uh, any <coughs> separated scheme of finite type over C, uh, the, uh, he constructed uh, mixed host structures on the cohomology group of such a possibly singular, possibly non-proper variety. And <coughs> for this, uh, uh, we can do the similar construction. We, if we look at the degree 2D minus one, this again belongs to the level one part, and therefore it corresponds to Albanese one, uh, some Romo one motif, which is called Albanese one motif. And this is a uh, uh, algebraic construction of this, uh, this uh, one motif was uh, carried out by uh, Babi Abiyari and Srinivas, and also by Ramachandra. And <coughs> so the, <coughs> this is a uh, big story, and <coughs> But usually this, it is diff, more difficult to handle singular varieties than, and so, so our, our idea is to, it should be easier to consider smooth proper varieties equipped with extra data given by uh, divisors, which, which is the modulus, uh, than considering singular varieties. So th this way we, we mm. so this is the uh, setting we, uh, uh, more comfort comfortable to work with. And this is what we, we are going to ex extend. Okay, now uh, I define the category of mixed host structures with modulus with, uh, without any restriction on levels. This is a category of object of these four, four plus. The first entry is mixed host structures, during the mixed host structures. And the second and third, second and third entries, uh, v dot and u dot and v dot, this is just a chain of C linear, uh, series of C linear vector spaces and maps connecting them, C linear maps connecting them. And the last one is the uh, curly FP is C linear subspaces sitting inside this direct sum of HC and UP and VP. And this here is a, Axioms they should satisfy. Uh, <clears throat> they are rather technical, but uh, yeah, I, I'll briefly explain uh, these, uh, what, does, 
they meet. And the first thing, first thing is very simple. And in, these, in this diagram, in these two diagrams, there are only finitely many number p for which uh, up or vp is non-trivial. And also each up and vp are finite dimensional. This, this is just a such very basic fin finiteness condition. The second thing is just the uh, compatibility of this curly F with transition maps in here. The last three are more important and the more essential conditions. So, in order to, so this is the point. So recall that H is a mixed Hodge structure. So this already carries Hodge structure, FP. HC already carries Hodge filtration. This is a Roman, Roman F, and we, this FP, curry F, is uh, something sitting here, and this is a, a kind of an extension or a, a enhancement of Hodge filtration, this Roman F. So these three, uh, some kind of compatibility between uh, Hodge filtration on the classical part and our new Hodge filtration. And this, uh, there, it is not easy to explain why the, these conditions come up, but uh, yeah, <coughs> this will be justified by the uh, result later. But anyway, the meaning of these three conditions are some kind of compatibility between F and uh, uh, Cardi F, Roman F and Cardi F. Okay, now I, I can explain the uh, our, our main result in this, set, in, the, in this general setting. The first thing is that our category, new category of mixed Hodge structures of, with modulus is Arbanian. And uh, it, contains, ah, it contains mixed Hodge structures with level one uh, I introduced before. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot to say. In, in the definition of MHS M1, we have only single U and V, not a chain of uh, serial vector spaces. So in, in this case, uh, we, put just, we put them on the degree zero part, and uh, everything, every, everything else are uh, zero spaces. So this way, we, we regard mixed Hodge structures with modulus of level one as uh, an object in this category. So this is the meaning of this. It, it contains MHSM1. OK, next, uh, we start geometry. Uh, geometric uh, construction of uh, an object in our category. Starting with a uh, smooth proper variety with uh, two effective divisors, and, but uh, they are not, uh, this time we do not assume they are reduced. They may have uh, multiplicity. <coughs> and we still assume they have uh, empty intersection, and we put extra assumptions that uh, the, uh, support is strict normal crossing. Then for each n, we can associate uh, our, an object in our category in such a way uh, whose underlying mixed Hodge structures. First, uh, underlying mixed Hodge structure is the dream part. Uh, mixed, mixed Hodge structures we, cons uh, we explained in the previous slide. For attached to the triple of x, y, and z with reduced part of the devices. So there's a Hodge theoretic way of constructing such object, and they satisfy uh, duality of the similar form. So if we replace this curly H by Roman H, this was precisely the same as duality for mixed Hodge structures. And we extended it to a modulus version, this in our setting. Then uh, if we take a look at the degree, 2D minus one part, and take the same uh, corresponding part, then it, uh, it is easy to see this belongs to the level one part, and therefore it corresponds to uh, some Romo one motif, which we call the Albanese one motif. <coughs> yes, this way we, we extend the construction of uh, Albanese one motif, Dream one motif to uh, Romo one motifs. And if we consider the case of curves, when d equal one, this agrees with the Jacobian one motif I explained in the first part of the talk, and uh, this duality explains the duality of Jacobian one motifs uh, that change to interchange two divisors y and z. 
Ah, yes. Ah, I, I forgot to emphasize that in, dual, in this duality, we interchange, we switch two divisors, one and Z. The dual of X, Y, Z will be uh, a corresponding thing for X, Z, and Y. Okay. In the, this is basically the, all the results I would like to explain. In, I, I close my talk by, in, with this slide, explaining the, my relation with the previous works. Uh, the first thing is uh, work of Kato by Kato and Russell. Uh, they constructed Albanese, one, Albanese variety. This is a commutative algebraic group, not Raman one motive. It, it is just a algebraic group attached to a variety X and smooth proper variety X equipped with an effective divisor. And if uh, X is a curve, this is uh, this reduced to the generalized Jacobian variety, which we start with. And so uh, this is a higher, higher dimensional version of uh, uh, Jacobian variety. And from our point of view, this can be recovered. The Cato Russell Albanese variety can be recovered as uh, our Albanese one motive by taking the second divisor Z to be zero. So this, if we consider triple, consists of Y, X, and Y, and the second divisor zero, then this agrees with Cato Russell Albanese variety. So this, in this sense, we, our our theory is a generalization of generalization of Cato Russell uh, Albanese variety. Another thing, but this is a very uh, very very important work by Spencer Brock and Srinivas. This was a starting point of. Uh, this kind of extension of Hodge theory. They, Brock and Srinivas, in 2000 paper, they introduced the notion of enriched Hodge structures and constructed an Arbian category, EHS, extended Hodge structures. And moreover, they attached an object in this category for any proper but possibly singular variety. So they constructed such an object in their categories. And this construction, was extended by Babiria Viere and also by his student Matsari uh, as uh, formal, formal Hodge structures. But they, yes, uh, yes in, from our point of view, their categories can be almost recovered by taking the uh, subcategory of our category consisting of all objects with uh, trivial V part our, our category have uh, two extra data, u dot and v dot. If we put, uh, take v dot to be trivial, then such a subcategory consisting of all such objects will be almost equivalent to category of any such structures. And this uh, is uh, related to the absence of duality in their category. Uh, the category of any such structure organized in formal such structures, they have no no duality. It was a, uh, one defect that was already pointed out by Brock and Srinivas. And in, in, from po this point of view, our category, mixed host structures with modulus, is like, uh, uh, so relation with, between formal host structure and our category is like uh, relation between uh, commutative algebraic groups with Roman one motif. This is our construction. Okay. The time I can. I'll stop here. Thank you very much. Oh, it is already already over C, over C, over complex number field, over C, over complex number field. The base is over field, complex number field, C. Complex, okay. Ah, complex okay, over C. Over C, yes. Mm. Ah. Yeah, uh, mm. Because I thought, you, I thought you wanted to move those things, not to. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I would like to uh, develop. Uh, yes, mm, uh, this, uh, yes, variation of, yes, I would like to develop uh, the theory of variation of uh, mixed structures with modulus, but uh, this, uh, this is not yet. No. Mm.